Hey, Rob. What? Guess what I got? I've got no idea. What's in the box? Ha! <laughs> What's in the box, he says. All right, let's first get it out. Let's try and get it out first. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Now, drag it out. I'll put put it down on here. Yeah. And, oops, are those... A little bit of weight now. Down one more. And, whoops, down another one. That's a box of lead. Has to be. It is. Can't be anything else bar a box of lead. It's it my new... So the box, the crate, is out of the, uh, the van. I'm now going to open it and uh, let everyone see for the first time what it is I've bought. All I need now is a fat jolly guy coming down the chimney, eh? There it is. <laughs> My new drum sander. How good does that look? Okay, so here we got the uh, the unit itself. Um, we've got the legs or the base of the unit in here that I've got to put together. Instructions. Um, I have no idea what this is. It might be a cover for it. So I'll have a look at the instructions. And there's also a bag of bolts which is obviously for the legs. So, let me put the legs together first and then um, I'll see if I can lift it up and put it on the, on the base. Okay, so here I've got the instructions. Now here's the base of the unit, I'm gonna put this together. So, let's uh, open everything up. I've gotta say, everything is packaged up really nicely. So it's, it's not gonna move around in the box, it's not gonna get damaged. Loose out the way. Although they probably could have used a little bit less tape. Okay, so there's one leg. Two legs. Three. And four. Okay, so these will be the tops, I'm assuming. Two tops. And these will be the rails. And 
two. And one. And two. All right. Well, we start putting this together. Okay, so the base is all put together, and I've got to tell you, it's very, very sturdy. The instructions were um, were very good. I did, I'll say I did have a look at them because it got a little bit confusing, but the the, the instructions are really good. Um, now the next part is I've got to put the actual unit on top of this base. Now it weighs 134 kilos going by the the box. I'm not going to be able to lift that on my own, so I'm going to need some help. So I might get my mate. Hang on a minute, see if I can do this. Oh, it worked. G'day, Chris. How are you, Rob? Thanks Good for that, mate. No problem. You click your fingers and I appear. You come running, I know. That's good. I've got to put this now underneath the um, the thing, so I'm going to need a hand to lift it on. No, you, re on. you ready? Yep, let's go. Let's do it. All right, Chris, let's go. All right, Rob. Nice. This is heavy. All right, so lift okay. with your knees, not with your back. Not with your back, and take it nice and slowly. Ready? ready? One, two, two three. three. There we go. It's on. It's on. Slides around a little bit, but very good. Now all we've got to do is get under there and put the screws in. Done. Easy one. There it is, the new toy, fully assembled. All I've got to do now is find a piece of wood that's really rough, and then I'm going to put it through and see how it works. So the first thing I want to put through this uh, new drum sander is a friend of mine's given me his uh, chopping board, and he wants me to resurface it for him. He wanted me to originally put it through my thicknesser, but because it's end grain, um, not a good idea. So I've got the drum sander set up. Let's put it through and see how it comes out. Okay, we're hot. Okay, so the machine's put together, we've put a couple of boards through it, um, just a couple of points. Uh, number one, um, the staff at Timbercon were really, really helpful with the machine, um, helped me load it in the back of the van, told me what I needed to do to get it all together. Um, the instructions were, were okay, I mean they weren't um, really, really in depth, but they were okay. Um, it wasn't a problem putting it together. Secondly, the packaging was really good. It was tied down well in the, uh, in the crate. Uh, it wasn't going to get damaged. When I took it out of the crate, there were no scratches, no marks on it, which you'd expect from a brand new machine. Um, but the packaging did its job. Now, when it comes to assembly, um, the base, very easy to put together, very straightforward. But you're going to need a friend to lift this machine onto that base because it is very, very heavy. 134 kilos, I think, is stamped on the side of the box. So unless you're the Hulk, you're going to need a friend to, uh, to help you lift it onto the base. Now, general performance. Um, straight out of the box, we didn't need to do, or I didn't need to do a hell of a lot of uh, adjustment or, or calibration. It was 
fairly square, to, to be honest. I put a couple of boards through it. Um, a mate's uh, chopping board he wanted resurfaced, which worked really well. And we uh, grabbed one of these, just an old board. This is what it started off like. That's what it ended up like. So we believe that it's 80 grit sandpaper in there. Um, but as far as performance, not a problem. Didn't bog down, didn't struggle. Um, just as a, uh, as a footnote, these things aren't thicknesses. You're not using this to thickness anything. You're only doing this to sand, all right? So people, um, sometimes they, they try and take too much off in one pass, not gonna work. If you, if you do light, light passes with it, you won't have any dramas. This one here, didn't have any dramas. This is um, Messmate, I believe. So it's a pretty solid timber and it's old and weathered. And again, it, no struggle, went through nice and easy. Let me talk uh, just briefly about uh, dust extraction as well with this machine. Um, I tried it with my normal um, uh, vacuum cleaner, no dice. I've got the uh, DC50, I think they are. Yeah, the DC50 from, um, from Timbercon, which is a little canister dust extractor, and it did a better job but um, you're probably going to need something a little bit with a bit more uh, beef in it that'll, um, that'll suck it up because you get this really fine powder build up just in the top of the machine here. Um, is it an issue? No, it's not for me. Um, you just have to clean it after every, um, every pass or every time you use it. But you're definitely going to need um, a bigger dust extractor for it. Right, my final thoughts on the machine. Um, I'm exceptionally happy with it. I've always wanted a drum sander and I can't think of a better one to buy first up. Um, bang for buck, I think it ticks all the boxes. It's a really, really good machine. Yes, you can spend thousands on one of these things, but if you're just getting into it, I reckon it's a good entry level uh, drum sander. I like it a lot. Um, I know someone else is going to be using it quite a fair bit. Um, if, uh, if you want one, I would uh, certainly go down to Timbercon and have a look at one in action if you like. Um, I reckon it is a good investment for this workshop. Okay, this is a temporary home of this, um, this new uh, drum sander that I've got. I'm uh, eventually going to be extending the, the workshop and making another room behind it so I can put in the bigger machines and get a little bit more space in here. So temporary spot, this is where it's gonna live for now. If, um, if you liked the video, if you like what you saw up to this point, give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. Uh, let all your friends know what I've been up to. I know I haven't put out a video for quite a few months, but it's been hot out here in um, downtown Melbourne. Um, so I haven't been going into the workshop a lot, but if you, if you share the video around again, I'd appreciate that. And, uh, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.